What are you doing? You're always on the floor. <laughs> Just at Dollar Tree planning DIYs. I know, I shouldn't be on the floor. They have a bunch of new mirror selections right now. So I'm thinking they would make a really great wall art grouping. The thing about decor at Dollar Tree is a lot of times it's smaller. So you need to get multiple items to make it look more substantial. So I'm gonna grab five different styles of mirrors and then I'm gonna make them look similar and show you how to put them as a wall art piece. The first thing I did for this project was add tape to all of the mirrors so that when I was spray painting them, I wouldn't get any paint on the actual mirror portion. If you do get a little bit of paint, you can always scrape it off, but I just prefer to do this at the beginning of the project. I wanted to change the appearance of a couple of the mirrors, so I grabbed some Dollar Tree bamboo skewers and I'm going to place them on the back and just hot glue them in place. I kind of was just figuring this out as I went. I ended up cutting down some of the skewers. I was hot gluing them in place, but this was a lot of fun just kind of figuring out how to add a little bit of depth to each of the mirrors. And then I added some tape to the back to just kind of hold it in place. Then with my other mirror, I thought that one would look great if I just did four dowel rods. So I put one coming out of each of the corners. Those are the only two mirrors that I added wood dowels to. Next, I'm going to spray the back side of all the mirrors with this like aged gold spray paint. I turned all of the mirrors over and spray painted the front. Next, I'm gonna be using Rub and Buff. Now, I wanted my mirrors to have different colors of gold. That's just gonna give it a lot more dimensions. I'm gonna add the Rub and Buff with a foam brush across the mirrors. It's not gonna completely cover what I spray painted, but it's going to be a nice highlight or accent color. Once that had a chance to dry, I removed the tape. And again, I think the best way to add these to your walls would be to use command strips. Another tip you can try is to lay them out on your floor before you actually place them on your wall to figure out the configuration you want. But here's how these mirrors turned out. And for under $10, I have a really pretty grouping of mirrors. I think these plates are gonna be awesome. I have a great idea, so I'm gonna get a plate and a bowl. All right, you guys, this is the simplest DIY, but it's gonna be perfect for having guests over this summer, or maybe you're having people over for dinner. Take your bowl and put some E6000 on the base, then add your plate on top of it. Wash it up really well, and then you can use it to display cookies, muffins, fruit, whatever you have for your party. And the tray only costs you Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibwick DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.